D-Lo 404 Boxing. All right, y'all, as much as I don't want to talk about it, it's a hot topic. Um, I do have a boxing channel, and I, and I um, and I do, and I am a fan of both of these fighters, so I'm gonna talk about it. Um, you know, once again, the saga continues with uh, Terrence Crawford, Errol Smith Jr. You know, Terrence Crawford did his um, live on Instagram, talked about you know his basically his point of view of things that ma happened in negotiations, and uh, called for Errol Smith to come out there and. Speak and refute anything and you know they had a back and forth um all i've seen is what people have talked a few people have talked about online and um uh, as far as what was said or what one said to the other and things like that and, and i haven't even taken time to go on twitter and actually look at it and, and see the back and forth see the actual you know dialogue between the two and, and i don't really care to you know what i'm saying to be honest um i look at this this whole situation two ways the 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 twitter the Twitter war between the two or the, the Twitter battle between the two. Um, we didn't get to fight. Both guys are supposed to move on to something else. Um, I have no problem with both of these guys getting a fight in in 2022. I welcome that. I'm a fan of both guys, a fan of the sport of boxing. These are two of the top fighters in the world. I want to see these guys in action, whether they're fighting each other or not. Okay. Aside from that, both guys going back and forth with one another, to me, tells me that they're not going to let this fight die you know they're not going to let the anticipation of them fighting each other die and that and they seem to both have a burning fire inside of them to want to prove that they're better than the other guy i like that am i a fan of all of the back and forth and insults and all of that i know i'm not a fan of that but that's that that's because of my personality you know what i'm saying that don't mean that i'm saying that they're wrong that don't mean that I'm saying that they're immature or anything like that. I'm just not a fan of it, but I understand that it has a place in today's society. It has a place in social media today. Um, with all of that being said, I think the positive to it is that it's still is keeping the fans in sense. Now, now I, I'll, I'll come out and be honest. You know what I'm saying? Some of the comments that I see some of the fans make toward these fighters while they're having a back and forth between each other to me, I kind of look at that the same way, like two of your uncles arguing with each other, and and here comes this eight year old kid chiming in with his his take on the argument, and I look at it like both of them should turn around and say, "Shut your look, shut your young ass up, grown folk talking." You know what I'm saying? That's the way I look at it. I, I look at it like even though fans are trying to stick up for their fighter during this this uh, whole back and forth between the two. I look at it like, why y'all insert yourself into it? Let these, these are two grown men. Let them go at it if that's what they're going to do. Y'all ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? Definitely not trying to, um, you know, quiet it down. You fanning the flames. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all getting into beefs with each other in the comment section and things like that. You know, and, and this is all from what I'm, what I'm seeing, you know, when I saw Terrence Crawford go live. And then when I'm looking at these videos that people were posting, they had screenshots of it you can see comments from fans in the screenshots attacking attacking the fighters you know what i'm saying so it's, it's just crazy you know but i guess you know the fans are part of the sport in their own way um you know so like i said there's there's a plus to the nonsense that it that is keeping the fan bases in sense it's keeping them thinking about the fight it's not letting people just let the fight go and be like the heck with it um but at the same time you know, we don't know what, what, you know, negative consequences could come from, you know what I'm saying? But I, I look at it like, even though I'm not a fan of it, it's not my, it's definitely not my favorite part of the game, but if, if, if this is what it, what, what has to happen is this thing has to re reach a fever pitch to where now it's not just Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence's fanboys going at it with each other. Now they're going at it online to the point that both guys, because they both said not long ago that they only want to fight each other. Well, now they may come out of this situation where after they have their next fights, neither one of them are going to accept anything but a fight with one another. And if both of them are pushing the people who are in position to make the fight, to make the fight, and and, and they are, aren't going to accept anything else, I, I think we'll get the fight. But I'm not going to get my hopes up. You know what I'm saying? I'm a realist. Um, we'll see how it all comes out. But, I, but I've always said that fights are supposed to happen in the ring, not on social media. And um, that's what I want to see. But I wish both guys well. 
in their fight, their up, upcoming fight. Um, some of you fans, you know, I, <laughs> I, I, I just say you're not asking my opinion or my advice, but I just say some of y'all's energy would be well served focusing on things in your personal life. Even if everything in your life is great, focus more of that energy to making things even greater in your personal life, not toward attacking these men who have their, their own situation going on. And nine times out of 10, they're probably in a lot better place in life than you are, um, especially when it comes to accomplishments and in, in their craft and it comes to finances or whatever the case may be, when it comes to business or whatever. These guys didn't get to where they are by being absolute imbeciles when it comes to business. You know what I'm saying? So they don't need you telling them what they should do in terms of a business deal or in terms of a contract. These guys know what they're doing. These guys are at the top of their sport. These guys are, have done well for themselves financially in the sport. Um, I, I think they I think they got it. You know what I'm saying? I think they can handle it. And I think they can handle themselves in a back and forth without, you know, having to have having to tag you guys in. Let them have it. Let them do their thing. Y'all want to go at it with each other, then do your thing. But like I said, I think a lot of y'all would be better served focusing that energy on working on things in your personal life. I know I would, and I am. That's why I don't get, get so deep entrenched in that stuff. I got things I need to work on with me. I'm not here, here trying to go back and forth with a man about what he got going on with another man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's just me. But, um, hey, um, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Catch y'all on the next one. Appreciate you. Peace.